Uh, Stewie, a really good win uh, and a really good team effort um, as, as well. What did you make of that? Yeah, it's um, that first half I sort of felt that that's what we've been waiting for. Uh, the shots seemed to drop and uh, although the first couple of minutes we struggled a little bit, it was uh, free flowing after that and there were threes going down everywhere, which was pretty exciting basketball. So to watch Shane and uh, Jared in particular um, dropping shots all over the place, it was, um, it was the time to sit back and just enjoy the ride. It looked like Shane was unstoppable in that first half. He had 20 points at half time. Is that probably uh, one of the better shooting indi individual displays you've seen for a while? Yeah, I think he's trying to prove a point and uh, coming up against their, the, the reigning MVP for the last three years. Um, I gave him a challenge and he took that head on and I think he kept Montreal to uh, seven points and dropped about 20 in the first half himself. So. It was a it was a big effort by him, and I think he's um, he's obviously pushing to try and enter into the NBL and, and kickstart a, a professional career for himself. So it was great to see uh, see him take that challenge head on. This is really good energy by the whole team, and then obviously when when your bench guys came on, they they certainly showed the same kind of energy. Yeah, well, I think well as I've said all along, we're pretty uh, deep. Um, I mean, you got Josh Yule as your twelfth man that can't get a run and. Right now, they're the sort of guys I feel for because they're training every week, battling it out and not getting minutes. So it's great to get a few of those younger guys in. Um, yeah, you wish you could get them in a bit more, but right now it's um, we can't really question what we're doing because we're six and one and, and sitting on top of the the Seville Conference. It, it seemed at one stage in that early in that third quarter, Dean on makes a makes a bit of a run at it, but then you seem to have some answers back. Did that? Kind of worried that Dan Long will make it run and something may happen? Oh, look, I think I uh, got a little bit nervous there when um, they got it to 16 and then they stepped out of court and there was a three hit, could have got it back to 13 with about five, six minutes to go. And Danny and I are a dangerous team. They've won uh, or been in the final for the last three years in their conference, so we knew that. Uh, they know how to get it done down the stretch, and we were, I mean they, they were missing a couple of players as well. So it uh, it was important that we finished off well, and we did that. You're on the road to Geelong Kilsyth. That's mm. a tough road trip next weekend. What are you what are you expecting? Yeah, extremely uh, tough, but probably no tougher than the Mount Gambier Melbourne Tigers trip. So and we took care of that. So I think it's an opportunity to probably create a bit of a gap between us and the rest of the competition. Uh, Mount Gambier's only lost one game, Northwest two. Geelong Kilsyth right now around the three to four game losing, um, which if we could extend that to three or four or four or five, uh, and we've still only lost one, we uh, playoffs have certainly become a, a real focus for us uh, for 2016. If you can split the road trip one and one, will you be satisfied? Oh yeah, yeah, look, it's a tough road trip, Saturday, Sunday. Um, you can only take eight players on the road, so it, it, yeah. Look, it'll be it'll be it'll be really tough for us to come away with that W, but um, I'm quietly confident. I think we're playing really good basketball, and we're going to be tough to stop. Well, Stewie, a really good convincing win tonight, and we wish you the best of luck on the road next weekend. Thanks, Ronnie.